We have returned, and we are going to go kill some wyverns now. I said that in like a very Nordic accent. Hello, we are going to kill some wyverns because we need to kill six of them. It's, it's what we have to do for the quest. All right, let's get on the yak first of all. And I have to, okay, is it down here? Is it over here? Should we go around? Do we go up here? Do we go down here? It says it's over here. Maybe we gotta go around. Maybe we gotta go around the mountain. That seems like a logical thing to do. How's it going? Uh, what what are what are you up to? Oh, that's cool. That's that's really cool. I like that. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, here's Wyvern. Uh, anyway, I have been working on a new video I'm doing, and it's the it's a Ghost Adventures parody. If you've never seen Ghost Adventures, just put into YouTube Ghost Adventures. And you'll see what I'm parodying. Parody, par parodying. You'll see what I'm parodying. And it's pretty funny. I enjoy the show because they like to overreact a lot to ghost thing. Like, if you've seen ghost shows at all, you know a lot of it is them overreacting. It's either they overreact or people are just like on board because nothing's happening. It's like legit. If they're doing like legit, like trying to find ghost stuff, they're not going to be like, dude. Dude, you just heard that sound, dude. Oh my god, I don't even know what's happening, man. You know, <laughs> they're not gonna go crazy. They're doing that for entertainment. So, Ghost Adventures is a very entertaining show for that reason. You got the main dude, who's just like this buff douchey guy. He's like, I am the douchey guy, and I'm here to find some ghosts. I ran into a ghost a while back, and now I'm gonna find one. And it's like, okay, dude. Okay, and then you have the like camera guy who looks like he's he's just like some creepy guy who's just like I'm holding the camera and this is how I'm going to talk because I'm a normal person or at least I'd love to be and he's just kind of creepy. Then there's the like overreactive guy that says dude a lot. He's like dude, dude, you hear that dude? Oh my god, dude. Dude, did you hear that? Dude, did you hear that, dude? Oh my god, he's a ghost, dude. And that that's the three of them, and it's hilarious. And I watch it just for that reason. And I know that's why they're so popular, too. I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh my god, they find... To me, they find way too much evidence for there to actually be, like, legit ghosts there. Like, if you could go all those places and find evidence of ghosts that easily, I feel like it'd be more documented. Because everyone's like, oh man, they get so many audio clips when they go out. I'm like, listen, being someone who edits stuff and does audio and everything for a living, it's extremely easy to fake all that. I'm just saying, you know, sorry to burst your bub bubble, some people. I don't know if Ghost exists. Exist. Pa part of me is like, yeah, they, they might exist. Part of me is like, I don't know. But one thing I know is that I'm sure a lot of that is fake. That's, that's what I know. Because, I mean, you can very easily take an audio clip, record it, and kind of mess with it, make it sound weird. You'd be like... And then you can take that and kind of like mess with it, make it grainy, like... And do some stuff and very easily put that in. And people are like, dude, no, what's happening live? They're like, let's cut to the audio clip and listen. It's like, no, they edited the show. All right, the power of editing is very powerful. Editing allows you to do anything you want. I could edit this right now and you would be like, oh my god. Oh my god, Grandor. Grandor did, is really did you awesome. hear Whoa! Did you hear that? Did you hear I think I heard a ghost. I think I heard a ghost. Let's replay it. Replay that. Grandor is really awesome. Wow. Wow. See? That's that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Let's keep going. I'm done. I'm parroting that show. It's gonna be a funny little thing. You'll like it. Okay, I sure hope you didn't miss any. Yay, now we gotta kill eight Alliance spies. Use Jibby's, Ghibli's gas bomb to uncloak the spies. Got another problem, Zazar. Our Alliance spies are all over the place. You haven't seen any. That's because they're invisible, cloaked. Use this gas bomb on the cloaked spies and it'll reveal them. All right. Uh, what else? I'm also doing, uh... Oh, while I was researching, because... If if you if this video is like 
months old and you're watching this months down the line, just go watch the video because it's, it's out now. <laughs> but being that you might be watching this right now, I've been doing some research on where I want to do the ghost adventure thing at. And I was like, I'm going to do it at Daryl Shire because there's like that little girl that lost her doll. I remember that from like eight years ago when I started playing this game and I was like, this is kind of a weird zone. But I didn't really think anything of it just because it's like, why would you? It's just like, oh, it's just a quest, you know. I didn't really care at the time. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that quest for my, or that place for my ghost adventure thing. So I looked up the lore and that's some crazy lore. Like, okay. So there's Darrow Shire and it's in Eastern Plaguelands. Eastern Plaguelands got taken over by the Scourge. And that was the whole thing with like Arthas and all the people were turning Scourge. So we had to kill them all. And it's like Kel'Thuzad like took over all the people with like his Scourge armies and stuff. And then, uh, they had Darrow Shire, which was like in the southwest of the Eastern Plaguelands. And there was Joseph Redpath, I believe is his name. Yeah, Joseph Redpath. And he was like the leader of the army, the army peeps. And he was like, yo, we gotta fight off these Scourge. And he fought off the Scourge. And it was like a weak wave of Scourge. It was like zombies and skeletons and like bleh. Like, the type of stuff I'd be killing right now and be like, oh, that was easy. But they were like, yeah, we did it. Then, the Scourge are like, you know what? We gotta take this city. So they send in, oh, what was his name? Her, I forgot his name. It's like Hergog the Ghoul Champion or something. I forgot his name, but if I saw it, I'd be like, oh, yeah. And they send in him, and they send in, like, Madruck the Death Knight guy. He's like a Death Knight captain. And they take their army to go take Darrowshire. And they're like, oh shit, oh shit. And so, uh, the Alliance people, or the Darrow, whatever, the Darrowshire, like, human people are like, we gotta get reinforcements. So they get reinforcements in this one guy who's leading them. I forgot his name. I think it's like Dacron. All these names that I'm saying are wrong. Let me just tell you that right now. All of these names are wrong, but... When you see the actual thing, you'll be like, oh, he got the names right. So, that guy ends up killing the ghoul champion, and uh, their Scourge people are like, you know what, we've had enough of this. So they send in, like, their elite bloodletter warrior people, and they pretty much, like, break through the front lines, and the Death Knight dude, Madruk, or whatever his name is, he ends up using his necromatic powers to, like, take Joseph Redpath's soul out of him and corrupt it, and then he puts it back, and he becomes, like, evil Joseph Redpath, and he kills all his own people, and he corrupts his army so that they can also kill his own people. And that's how the city gets taken. And then when I read that, I was like, whoa, that's some crazy lore! And if you do the quest... I believe if you do, like, Eastern Plaguelands quest now, it has the Battle of Darrowshire as a quest you can do. So that's kind of cool. I didn't even know that. And that is... We might actually do it! You know what? We can almost go to Eastern Plaguelands. We're going to go do that quest, and then you're going to be like, Wow, Grandor! I... <laughs> I just noticed that I said, Wow, Grandor! See, that's what I mean! I can be, Wow, Grandor! Not just, Wow, Grandor. So... We'll end up doing that quest, and then I can reference it back to this episode of me talking about it. It'll be a grand old time. It'll be a grand old time. Okay, I'm done. Overlord Gromgar sends word from the base. You are to get back on the Grom... You're gonna get back on the Gromgar hot air balloon and take it to Cliff Walker Post. From there, the plan is to unleash the payload on the Alliance at Battlescar Valley. You better get going, Zizar. It's not wise to keep Gromgar waiting. Speak to General Grebo when you arrive at your destination. He'll be able to brief you on the next course of action. Hooray! Let's go, General Grebo. Drink some tea. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some good tea. Alright. Uh, I think we gotta go up here. It's probably where our hot air balloon is. I think. <laughs> I think this is where it is. If not, then... Oh, yep, here it is. Okay, good. Let's get on the hot air balloon. 
Can we get in from here? We can. Excellent. On we go! There's my bomb flying music, because, yeah, I didn't know what else to do. I thought a little song would be would be nice. What are these little bubbles? Are these like our engine fuel? They're coming out, it's like blah, 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 blah. Either way, is this the Alliance base? Is this it? Is this what's happening? Or no, I think we're landing here, like... Oh, this is Cliff Walker Post! This is, uh, this was in Stone Talon, or not Stone Talon, uh... Thousand Needles, right? Or is that no? That was Free Wind Post. Never mind. <laughs> that was Free Wind Post. Oh! And now I'm here. Hooray! Let's get. Here's General Grebo. I thought he'd be a goblin. Your claims are outrageous, General. Up. Oh, let's listen. Let's listen in. The only thing you'll find at Thaldra Grove are terrified young druids. They have no weapon of mass destruction. Kefiltar and your words could be con construed as treason. My scouts have informed me that the Grove holds a powerful weapon, a weapon that the Alliance will use against us if they are not stopped. Furthermore, I am here by authority of Overlord Kromgar, who was himself appointed by our war chief, Garage Elscream. You will do his bidding or suffer the consequences. Yeah. I have sent you my boy to Thel. I have sent my boy to Thaldra Grove to fetch you proof. You will soon see that they pose no threat to us. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Who's this guy? Oh, it's a female Tarn. Uh, all right. How you doing? Chief Tim Cliffwalker and his tarns seek to commit treason against the Horde. They claim that the ancient tree at the heart of Alscar Valley is merely a school for druids. They are blind to the fact that desperate measures are taken during wartime. My scouts have assured me that the Night Elves hide a weapon of great power within that tree. We're going to end this now. Alright. I will allow this old fool time to plead his case. He has assured me that he will bring back proof that the Night Elves do not harbor a weapon of mass destruction we shall see. While we await this proof, he will assist our army in the valley. We have prepared a large number of siege tanks for his purpose. For this purpose? <laughs> I'm good at reading. Our demolishers are poised for attack. Take the elevator down to the base of the outpost and take control of a Kromgar demolisher. And do stuff. Okay, let's do that. That sounds fun. After I get this flight path. No, 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 no. Hmm. Alright, get this flight path. This is a cool flight path. You get to fly on a rocket. A rocket ship to the moon. Isn't that right, Larry? Yeah, whatever. Go to the moon. Go to the stars. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's a negative attitude, Larry. It's a very negative attitude. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see, how do we get down? How do we get down? Elevator? Here's the elevator, hooray! One small trip for man, one small raptor in my body. Just kinda weird. Kinda weird. <laughs> 